All right, guys, we got 22 orders going out on eBay, and I got uh, a couple of orders on Poshmark and one on Macari, too. So let me show you guys what's sold. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys the items that I got going out. Hopefully, you guys have had a good couple of days since the last time I saw you. In this eBay game, man, there's a lot of things that we're going to be able to control, and there's a lot of things that we're not going to be able to control. What we have to do is focus on the controllable variables. How much are we pricing our items at? Are we even picking up great items to begin with? Uh, are we using all the coupons and marketing strategies that eBay allows us to use if you have a store? These things will help you generate more sales, right? So since my sales have slowed down the last couple of days, I'm implementing these things that normally I wouldn't even be doing, which is the newsletter, uh, sending coupons to buyer groups. Uh, these are things that I don't do regularly that eBay gives me the opportunity to to be able to generate extra sales. If you have these options and your sales are slow, try implementing them. They're there for a reason. All I've been doing recently is just using the coupon, running markdown sales, and promoting my listings. These are not you know, the end all be all, but these are just what I do on a regular basis. Since my sales have slowed down, I'm gonna start implementing the other strategies as well, since they have them there for me to use and see if that generates more sales, along with listing more items that are quality items. Uh, one of the things that I do have to be mindful of is, I list a lot of hoodies and sweatshirts, I list a lot of jeans, I list a lot of jackets. These things don't really truly make or break your store, but when it's the middle of summertime, I'm the only weirdo wearing a hoodie right now. You know what I mean? In the middle of the summer, these things slow down. Shorts and t-shirts sell a whole lot more. Things will still sell, but listing things that are more in season definitely will help your sales be a lot better. So a lot of these sales that I got going out are not going to be like really, really awesome. Uh, nothing really so nothing sold over $20. I don't even think, uh, at least not on eBay, uh, Poshmark, they were okay. I'm really thinking that if I wasn't doing this uh, D-list, relist, that I wouldn't be having very much traction on eBay right now. Uh, I'm going to jump into the Poshmark sales first. I got a Notre Dame hoodie. It sold for $22. Women's large. It's 12152 A lot of these older items are still selling on uh, Poshmark. 12152 It's this one right here, just a windbreaker. And this isn't Notre Dame like university. This is Notre Dame as in uh, the high school, which is in St. Louis. So uh, I wonder where this went to. This is a women's large, so for 22 bucks, probably going to St. Louis because it's a St. Louis high school. And then we got Belleville East t-shirt, which is in Illinois. Uh, this shirt is number 13897, 13, Nine seven. And you guys can use this. Uh, there we go. You guys can use this uh, inventory system very, very easily. Um, all you need is to hit up the links in the description, and you guys can uh, every every product that I use, from the bags to the SKUs to uh, the boxes, all that's in the description. That shirt sold for ten bucks. So those those two items probably staying in the area, but I've seen stranger things where people buy stuff that's local and they don't live locally. So those are the two Poshmark orders, $10 and $22. I'm gonna show you guys the Macari item real quick, right here. Old Navy shorts, the OG straight or cut off or whatever. OG, yeah, OG straight. So these were jeans that were cut into shorts and these sold for 20 bucks plus shipping on uh, Macari, $5.99 shipping fee. So really happy to have uh, some over $20 sales on the other platforms since on eBay, everything everything gets discounted, man. Like, And usually it's different, like Poshmark is where all my items are getting sold for under 20 bucks or like real low dollar. But I'm just glad to see that I'm glad to see that the other platforms are, you know, kind of doing okay. I haven't listed anything on Macari in like pretty much uh, since I've been on there. I've only, oops, I've only got like 400 items on Macari and I don't plan on listing any more over there. But uh, hey, it is what it is. So how are sales going for you guys? Are things going okay? I've been seeing a lot of people that's sad uh, posting that their their stuff not moving. And I know that for the last, what, two weeks almost, I've been doing 10 a day, 
except for yesterday i did like 20 something uh, but that's because i was not sourcing now that i'm back to sourcing and stuff um i think that i'll be able to, to increase the sales just because i'm listing more items but are you guys having the same experience let me know down in the comment section down below how your sales are going if things are normal for you or if things have slowed down uh you know we do have the summer slowdown that is a real thing sometimes though it doesn't affect some people um and i know like just a couple couple weeks ago i was having record breaking sales you know but things have changed over this last couple of weeks I just want to know if it's just me or if it's if it's other people. So let me jump into these eBay orders and show you guys what's going on over there. I just recorded this whole entire clip and realized that I had the mic off. So now I got to show you guys all these items again. It is what it is. So these three items right here sold for two dollars because, you know, I just got half the half the not half, but two thousand items I put on sale for two bucks. For those of you that don't know uh these all sold for two bucks this is a men's american eagle t-shirt that's small this is a torrid blouse that's a size double zero this is an x files t-shirt i don't know what size that is uh let's check real quick that is a men's medium those all sold for two dollars then we got this st louis blue shirt that got relisted with auto posture so for a best offer of five bucks because five is better than two so i accept that offer this is a women's Mizzou Tiger shirt, one of those items that I say I find all the time. Uh, this sold for eight dollars and forty cents. That's a women's medium. That sold for eight forty uh, because, like I said, it's better than taking two dollars on it. These are men's American Eagle joggers, size large, sold for ten ten sixty four. Also, have been in this store for over a year, and I just took a best offer on it because. Like I said, with this stuff that's getting relisted with auto posture, I'm just taking whatever offers I get on them. Because if I didn't, they would get marked. They would have gotten marked down to two dollars. And anything's better than selling an item for two bucks. Now, all these shirts have ten dollars shipping on them, so I'm still making a decent return on the shipping for selling an item for two bucks. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, pretty certain I have mice in here. Maybe not multiple, but there's definitely one of them in here because the little guy's been eating my toilet paper, man. Let me show you guys. So the roll of toilet paper is getting chewed on by something. I don't know if rice, if rice, if mice make nests, uh, but maybe that's what they're taking it for. They're taking it and building a little comfy home to lay in somewhere. I got these little mouse trap things in, in here in the corners of the the building but hopefully hopefully they'll either catch them or something but i hit my boy up that owns this place and i told him that uh pretty sure there's mice in here because i've seen like rat poop or mice poop mouse poop on my desk before like uh in the back behind like my computer and stuff like that um so i told him because since i'm his tenant it's kind of his his responsibility uh, and I'll let you guys know how that turns out if I catch the little guy or not. So another way that I'm combating the slow sales is by being more aggressive with my offers. Since my prices went back up on most of my items, I'm now sending out items or offers on those items. When I do my send offers in bulk, I check the SKUs on them and see how old they are. And then by the age of the SKU, I go in and I send a super aggressive offer. So some of the items that I'm getting ready to show you guys, I sent out 50% off offers on and people accept it. Um, whatever I got to do to get the sales to go in, you know what I mean? And so um, this item right here is a, this is a vintage Abercrombie & Fitch t-shirt. Uh, sure, that's a boys. Boys size large, that sold for 15 bucks. This is a 10K rodeo run kind of co shirt. Somebody sent me a $5 offer on that this morning. I do have $10 shipping on that. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. That's a men's large. I got this um, Boy Scout shirt. Got the Wee Blows uh, flag on there or the uh, ribbon, I mean, and some other patches and stuff like that. This is one of the items I sent the 50% uh, off offer on. This sold for $16.80. 
This is a Southern Tide men's shirt. Uh, that is a men's medium. Uh, that sold for 10 bucks. And this was a vintage Quicksilver uh, mock neck pullover sweatshirt. I mean, um, this thing is in really bad condition. Like you can see the seams have pretty much start to fall apart. Uh, that came in a vintage uh, box of sweatshirts that I ordered online from a rag house. And that sold on a 50% off offer for 15 bucks. This is a kids or no, it's a women's it's just super tiny big pony polo shirt sold for a best offer of 12 bucks. If I got to send aggressive offers out to get the ball rolling on some sales, I'm OK with that, because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to move the units. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to move the units. I'm not trying to hang on to this stuff. I'm trying to do volume. Volume is my focus. I just want to move units out the door, recoup my money and put it into other items. So that way I can have uh, cash flow and keep the keep the business churning out these items. All right. So all these items right here are newer items that have been listed into the store uh, all within the last month or so. Um, so this is going to be a pair of Washington University in St. Louis um sweatpants there is a giant hole on the knee and those still sold for 15 dollars uh that's a uh, men's large and i got this seacrest beach sweatshirt this is a uh just a destination uh thing i pick up all the stuff all the destination stuff sometimes it sells quickly sometimes it doesn't but most of the times it sells fairly quick uh, this is a $14 best offer. I sent out uh, another 50% off offer that got accepted. These also 50% off offer. These are Athleta linen joggers. Uh, 1050 is what they sold for. This is a Charleston, South Carolina shirt, which is fitting because I listed this right before I went to Charleston, South Carolina. As a lot of you guys know, I just got back from there. Uh, that sold for a 50% off offer. Nope, nope. That sold 10% off discount. Uh, for the coupon for $15 and this is Missouri State Bears this doesn't sell as often as like Mizzou stuff does but like I said I pick up the uh, university stuff that I have in my state all the time because it does sell these are a men's extra large and they sell for 15 bucks find what you guys have in your I say it all the time find what you guys have in your area and pick that stuff up guys because Somebody else is going to give it no, you know, value. They're going to be like, oh, this stuff's all over the place. It's not worth anything. And that's why you need to sell it is because it's literally laying all over the place. Who goes there? Haha, -ha, you're on camera. You got traps for the for the rats. Yeah. Huh, man, look, I ain't let them things in here. All right, guys, as I was saying, pick up what's in your area that you guys can monetize because somebody's going to walk right past that stuff and not give it any value. Who thinks that a Charleston, South Carolina t-shirt is worth 15 bucks? I do. That's who. All right, guys. Got a bunch of glue traps and some mouse traps. Uh, put a glue trap right there. I put a glue trap and a mouse trap with some peanut butter uh, on it over here. So there's a couple of these mouse traps with peanut butter placed uh, around the building and then four glue traps. So hopefully those catch the little bugger and uh, I won't have to worry about it no more. But that was pretty quick, man, on my landlord to send one of his guys here, as you saw on camera, to come do that for me. So I texted him probably like 20 minutes ago and the situation's already got a solution in, in the work. So great landlord ship right there. So I'm going to show you guys these last items going out. And uh, not really anything spectacular here. All these are $2 sales. Aeropostle shorts, boys size. No, those are men's 30. This is a JCPenney shirt. Women's small. This is a vintage Laura Scott shirt. Women's medium. This is loft, made and loved jeans size 28 this is a polo ralph lauren quarter zip sweater men's extra large and then we got this army uh yeah army shirt 
man's extra large. Uh, all those are $2 sales. And then the last item you guys already heard me say was this pair of uh, kids Air Force Ones. I'll show you them real quickly with the multiple checks on them. Two swooshes. These sold for 14 bucks or whatever it was that I just said. Here's the other shoe right there. So glad to get a pair of shoes out of here. I sold a pair of Lands in shoes the other, uh, I think in the last video. So they're kind of slowly moving out of here. I probably got about 10 or 15 pairs left to go. But hey, it is what it is, guys. So you guys saw my rat problem. You guys heard a couple of tips and strategies that I'm implementing to try to increase the sales. Uh, hopefully the video was informative for you guys. That's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.